everybody welcome back to the series of how to optimize your obs studio for recording and live streaming and avoiding these five most common mistakes We're up to part five in the series and this one we'll be covering how to optimize your obs studio for platforms like twitch and youtube and how to find these settings and then how to put them into your obs studio so you can optimize your system and what you're doing if you're doing recording or if you're doing a live production so the final mistake I see is people not setting their encoding settings or the settings that they need for platforms like Twitch or YouTube for live streaming and video. And usually the encoding settings and some of the audio settings can be wrong as well. And the great way to do this is just Google Twitch streaming settings, YouTube streaming settings, go to their website here. On screen here, I've got the Twitch one here. It's an article that they have. Same with the YouTube Google support here. Now just read through this and for whatever use case you are doing, and your setup, you can go through these broadcast guidelines. So there's an encoding section here where it talks about the encoding performance, X264, which if you're not familiar in OBS, it's referring to these output settings here under video encoder. See under streaming and there's X264 and then I'm using Nvidia. So there's different settings here on the web page to go over. So video quality, internet bit rate as well. It talks about that. You wanna go through this and customize it for what you're doing and what you're recording in or streaming in and the quality and the size. See here under maximum audio bit rate, it likes the AAC format and the maximum audio bit rate that they support and like is 160, which I mentioned earlier that once we unlocked the advanced section here, that our audio is now 320. So you'd wanna go in here and customize that and change that back to 160 and a good practice as well if you want good video sound and have the 160 audio quality for live streaming the way to manage that would be set up different profiles in obs so you've got one for streaming one for video so you can just switch those you don't have to go back into the settings and change them all the time but you can see you want to have that 160 audio bit rate the type of, that's the type of codec that they like so for the streaming settings here, you want to go through and make sure you match what you have for your system and your internet speeds. So for this demonstration, I'm using in my system that I'm showing you here, I'm using the 1920 by 1080p in my system with the bitrate at 4,500 kbps, which I went a little bit higher at 5,000 because I have some extra available upload speed to use. Making sure you check your upload speed and then timesing it by 100 to get the amount there of this kbps to make sure that you have enough and you're only utilizing about 50 to 70 percent of your upload speed for streaming and obviously cbr constant bit rate and i was using 30 frames so 30 fps as well and also the keyframes we had that set at two seconds and then our preset was good quality and b frame set to two so we matched those settings perfectly for our system and that was using the nvidia graphics card here so if you did have the other one but you didn't have an nvidia graphics card you can go to this one here and then you can see these presets they want very fast to medium and profile set to high slash main so as you can see here you can go through any of the resolutions to so start at what resolution you want to stream in see what your upload speed is and then match these settings within obs so youtube has similar streaming settings here for the encoding settings for my setup that i demoed here as well we had 1080p 30 frames and you can see the minimum bitrate they would want would be 3 mbps and the recommended would be 10 and to remember as well you want to multiply if it's in mbps you want to multiply that by 100 to get the bitrate for obs studios here so for this example here that would be 10,000 kbps hopefully this video helped you out if you're brand new to obs or maybe you've had these settings and set like that and you didn't realize they're causing issues hopefully this helps out with your productions there just remember go through these settings and see what works for you see if it improves your stream and your videos there if you're still having trouble with your production after watching this video and you just want that personalized one-on-one -on -one support check the link in the description below or the pinned comment and navigate to the calendly link down below here where you can book me personally to help you out with any of your audio and video production needs it could be about microphone setups it could be about video or a studio anything you may need follow the prompts here click on the link and you can see these prompts here pick a time and a date that works for you and then go through these prompts here select next until you get to this page here where you enter in your details make sure that you schedule it and that's going to book it in in the calendar for both of us to jump on a call and we can hopefully help you out 
and guide you to your productions to make some awesome content. So thank you for watching. We'll see you all in the next video.